hello everyone welcome to the tss in this class we are going to discuss about a navigator object friends navigator object contains information about browser details okay so like cookies are enabled or not what is the application name application code name product okay and then application version uh, it's a simple simply uh, the uh, browser browser details okay uh, user agent platform is java is enabled or not all these things so let us uh, read one by one cookie enabled so in our browser if you enable the cookies it will return true and if you disable that one it will return the false okay so cookies are a some small text file which consists of user information okay uh, right so we'll discuss about cookies in the later uh, classes uh, and then what next app name app name returns the application name of the browser okay it uh, may not correctly uh, give the application name because uh, so many people will use so many types of browsers and uh, the html5 will cover i think almost all browser types but still uh, the browser names may vary the application code name code name will be written the product product name of the browser engine okay what browser engine will be used that product uh, name will be returned application version uh, it will give the application version of our browser and user agent this user agent is returns the header okay sent by the browser to the server okay what header will be sent to the server by our browser our client and then the platform platform means on which platform or the operating system we are uh, uh, browsing right and then the java enabled this is method you can see if there is any brackets at the end of the text it is called method if there is no brackets then it is a property okay and uh, this is very important java enabled or not so some internet explorer java is by default it is it was enabled if you have jdk installed in your system and for chrome uh, java is not enabled okay so java is uh, not by default it is not enabled in the uh, browser uh, chrome browser let us demonstrate all these things one by one friends let us move to the vs code now in the script i am using navigator navigator dot first one is what cookies enabled or not okay we need to because it will return true or false Some boolean data type so we need to store it in one of the variable called x then we will write the result to the document okay now i am saving let us see here true came that means the cookies are enabled let me check it okay where to check the cookie cookie so just go to the uh, browser settings and then open uh, settings after that so come down to advanced and then come down to site settings okay the site settings will be under the category of privacy and security under the privacy and security we have site settings is there no if you click that one in the permissions we have the cookies allow sites to save and read cookie data if you click this one here one on off switch will be there allow sites to save and read cookies recommended it is on that's why 
our code is returned true because cookies are enabled if you disable it and then again run this code okay run this code now okay now I had disabled it right now I had disabled now now if you see uh, one moment I am saving it you observe here it will return false here it is appearing as false why because we just now disabled the cookies now I am making it enabled again yes now it is enabled now I am saving it again now here it is true so for that purpose it will be very much useful friends that is called cookie enabled and then what app name app name so app name let us see I am saving Netscape now even though I am using uh, Chrome it is giving Netscape like app application name as Netscape and uh, some more versions are there application code name okay let us save here it is Mozilla it is giving Mozilla and then uh, application version I am saving it here you can see some big text is there application version that is Windows NT 10 uh, 64 bit operating system that is Windows and uh, for Apple it's WebKit and Chrome for Chrome I am on Chrome 76 is the update version for Safari it is like this okay now three properties we have so one two app version also and now product so product we will see product what that product is product means the browser engine okay I am saving gecko the browser engine is some gecko engine and then what user agent okay user agent now let's save it the user agent has displayed like this so Mozilla 5 Windows NT all this bit of code will be given as a header to the server and then what platform okay flat form platform means the voice on which we are using saving windows 32 <coughs> right next and then what java enabled important method java enable bracket okay now i am saving it you can see false because by default in the chrome doesn't allow java to be run in the browser whereas internet explorer will run java inside the browser friends okay so that's why it is displaying as false okay friends this is about the windows navigator object and its properties and methods and in the next class we will discuss some more methods friends till then bye bye yours Vira signing off thank you for listening